So a lot of times I'll get started on these videos and I'll have to do like take number one, take number two, for a bunch of different reasons. I can look at myself and go, oh, my makeup's not right. Or you can hear the dog in the background or the kids start crying and carrying on with their crap. And then I cut the video off. But I never want to sample a sauce without like, I don't want to sample it first and then videotape myself sampling it because I feel like that gives me time to come up with anything I want to say, really. And so I try to, while the videos aren't live, I take them live and don't do any editing or anything like that. And then when uh, it's time to sample, I pull the lid off, we sample it. And I make all my jokes about the different ways everybody shakes these bottles because that just trips me out. I think it's funny. <laughs> now this one, first I want to start off by saying now is such a hard time for everybody. Moms, dads, single people, certainly kids. So I can only be too upset at my youngin for uh, interrupting my video, because as you can see, the lid's already taken off of this one. Uh, had the full video already done. <laughs> and then all you could hear was her in the crying, crying in the background because she couldn't find it phone charger. And I was like, wow, six minutes. I think it was a six minute video and I couldn't even get her to do that. But she's eight and her life has been flipped upside down just about as bad as everybody else's life has been flipped upside down. So I'm gonna have to tell you, I do already know what this one tastes like. Pulled it out of my box of ghost farts and let the uh, capsaicin gods tell me which one it was gonna be. But I figure I would try and lead something in with this, with this sauce. So it's a blazing mustard from Flashpoint Sauces. Been working on this little series here for a minute. Um, I wanted to give a little backstory on something first before I go into this sauce that I know is gonna be wonderful and exactly what I need. Um, <laughs> years and years and years ago, before Hot Ones, before, even before League of Fire, I believe, there was this little store that came in to Fort Mill, South Carolina. Now see me, I am born and bred Fort Mill through and through. And uh, back in the day on Main Street in Fort Mill, all there was to see were antique stores. And that was it. <laughs> they really, there's a few other boring little stores, but uh, for the most part, especially back then, all it was was antique stores. No restaurants, nothing. And the sign came in that said Pucker Butt. And of course, everybody in little small town USA starts wondering what in the hell kind of store are we about to have on Main Street? Pucker Butt? You do realize we're in the Bible Belt class, my pearls. Well, when the doors finally open, I walked in. There's this delightful human being behind the counter, the name Ed Curry. And he started explaining to me that he had created the hottest pepper in the entire world and that the pepper saved him and how much he loved what he was doing and how much it meant to him to be doing what he was doing. She's just a really delightful person. And um, then... Of course, me, just like everybody else in the world, I'm sure, walked and said, all right, well, what's the hottest sample you've got? And I took it, and he said, I'm really surprised that you, uh, you don't seem to be hurting about that too much. And I was like, well, I practice sometimes. I don't anymore. I was like, I don't know. I just like hot stuff. And I remember him telling me that peppers had a medicinal purpose to them. And it was years ago, so I'm totally paraphrasing and probably messing it all up. And if I am, I apologize. But... I remember him telling me that there are a lot of medicinal properties to capsaicin and peppers and that peppers will create a chili high and then that chili high helps with do like releasing dopamine and hormones that make you feel good, the feel good hormones. And I always remember that and I always held on to it because I love it. That's two things I'm really into, which is one, uh, natural remedies and two, mental health something I've just always really been interested in. And so when I left a uh, place that I used to work, <laughs> a place that I used to work, I knew I did not want to go back down the rabbit hole of depression, which by God, I sure can. And I knew that I didn't want to go down the rabbit hole of uh, substance abuse, which for folk like me is very easy to do. And so I know a lot of y'all know the story. Like I came home and I felt like a loser and like I don't have anything in my life. And my entire sole purpose is to be at home with my kids, which it is and I'm fine with. But I still had to find something that kept me from crawling into my little hole too much. 
And anyway, uh, I remember Ed Curry telling me I'm a bit of a drug dealer of sorts. And this is a really, really hot sauce that I'm totally waiting for and preparing for uh, all of the feel goods because I know that it's hot. <laughs> I know that it's hot right out the gate. But let's go ahead and just read about it. The ingredients, prepared mustard, which is vinegar water, mustard seed salt, turmeric paprika, cider vinegar, scorpion peppers, <gasps> brown sugar, water, kosher salt, and spices. Refrigeration recommended. Now, again, blazing mustard. I love mustard sauces. I think that's just the South Carolinian in me. When I first saw these sauces come out in all the groups, the first thing I had to ask was, what part of the Carolinas? Because not only did we have this bottle and another bottle of mustard sauce uh, sitting in a picture, it was also with uh, potato salad with eggs on top. And I was like, this is, these are my people. I must know more about this sauce simply so I can know more about the sauce maker. Which if you, like, if you would like to get more backstory on this and the line of sauces, check out www.livinginreal.com uh, is where I, you know, basically I interview everybody that I review sauces for just because I want to know who I'm dealing with and what the backstory is. And then I always take all that beautiful information and put it together so you have the story behind the sauces that you love. So anyway, without further ado, this has prepared mustard, scorpion pepper. Talk about extreme. That's what I'm looking for today, as a matter of fact. We have kicked up our smoking mustard with Trinidad scorpion peppers to deliver a delicious, extra spicy kick to foods you already enjoy with mustard. Well, that's doggone pretty much everything. So the next time that you're about to bite into a burger, a brat, a hot dog, a sausage, grab a bottle of blazing mustard and enjoy the burn. And as we always say here at Flashpoint Sauces, fire up your taste buds. I love these guys. I've really enjoyed sampling these so far. Okay. So the first thing you can tell, got a little mustardy color to it. See some of those dried peppers in there? It's gonna be really good, I know. I'm really excited, I'm gonna try it again now. It's very mustardy. I can smell the brown sugar. I can smell those scorpion peppers, God bless. Scorpion peppers are no joke. I know some people just pop them like candy, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> but it does smell really, really good. And I love the mustard and the, the brown sugar smell mixed in. This is nice, okay. I'm not gonna talk anymore. I've talked long enough. Let's, let's do this. So here's one thing I really love is that even thick pour. He's so nice. Okay, here we go. It's nice and smooth. Sweet out the gate. And as soon as you swallow it, the scorpion peppers start stinging in. They start stinging in, but it's really, really good nonetheless. And I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that it's pretty hot. Not like lay out on the floor kind of hot, but um, I think this would really go really, really well with brats. I wish I had done this video before July 4th, because a lot of people could have really loved that. On um, barbecue, brats, hot dogs, definitely in potato salad. I am gonna have to try that. That's actually not a bad idea. I think I'm probably, gonna put this in egg salad or potato salad for sure still stinging a little bit not out of this world um yeah it's hot <laughs> it's hot but it's just not um <clears throat> not kill you hot I don't think of course I don't know I I could be immune at this point it's definitely a good sauce definitely definitely a good sauce so and it definitely brightened my day which was something I really really needed so absolutely delicious very spicy, still burning down here in my chest a little bit. Still on the tongue some, but not too bad. My whole face isn't melting. So that's important. Yeah, it's a really, really, really good sauce. And I think I'll definitely be uh, making a blog post about what we use this, uh, uh, what, what dish we use this in. So anyway, that's it. If you are interested in Blazing Mustard Extreme from Flashpoint, give them a check out. This sauce itself is one two awards 2018 it won the golden chili award 2018 winner new york city hot sauce expo screaming mimi triple x hot third place yeah these guys are good these guys are really really good they put a lot of effort a lot of time into their sauces uh and it's really obvious you definitely tell uh, the entire line i've tried so far uh one the story behind them i 
think that there's a lot of love and care into what they do. And then the more I can taste the sauces, I feel like they really put a lot of thought into the flavor profile, which is great. So you love mustard and you love it spicy? Flashpoint sauces. And thank you guys so much for listening, joining in, and uh, see you tomorrow. And God bless. Y'all take care.